I knew that it was gonna happen eventually. I knew this episode would come, but then I wasn't ready for it. At the same time, I was kind of ready for it. Then I knew, just this, you know, this kind of would die. That girl that, you know, she, the girl that loved Izumi as well, the side hoe basically loved Izumi, she would die, but she just died such an emotional way, yo. I was just sad as all hell. There was the end of the episode, yo. She almost, she almost got killed, but she really did get killed. I thought she wasn't gonna die. I thought Izumi was gonna do that freaking, I was to call this how he survived through this time with a parasite when his mom parasite tried to kill him whatever uh freaking Miggy basically put him organs into him to Shinji basically I thought maybe Izumi was gonna do the same thing to help her but she died yo and I was like you know I feel like how bad she, cause she said she was the only one who could sense Shinji and everything else it was absolutely an emotional joy right? and it's absolutely I love the series because it's so emotional it just tugs your heartstrings and just take guard your heartstrings out it's like it's absolutely beautiful like in a way so welcome to my episode review of Parasite the Maximum where I review every single Parasite episode there is to be released and basically it's, I'm not gonna talk about this entire I'm just gonna talk about what I thought about the episode not just summarize it just like I just wanna know know how parasites how there's apparently a parasite politician are there going different types of parasites what is that you know marrow bit the mayor back the mayor guy gonna basically do is he gonna use the people as food sources is he gonna gain the people's trust then eat them what is he gonna do i think he's probably gonna do the whole food source thing where basically he gathers everybody in an area or maybe tell them to go to the election whatever maybe they'll eat them up maybe we'll do like you know a one parasite slaughter or a parasite slaughter and like by the way the full opening for parasite has released and I absolutely in love with this. Absolutely brilliant. You're hearing that right now, and it's just really freaking brilliant. I also heard the OST release for the show. I'll be definitely checking out the OST news and different OSTs for the videos as well. So I also want to know a little bit about Connor's past and how she has the ability to sense Shinji, only Shinji. So she basically has a parasite sensing ability, but it's kind of it's it's kind of a weaker vision. So it doesn't mean that other humans also have the ability to, you know, was she born from a parasite? Maybe I have a feeling that maybe she was a parasite's child. I have a feeling that maybe her family was a parasite as well because remember if a parasite and a human have a baby that means their ba the hum their kid is going to be a human and Kana is 100% human where you know that but she has the ability to sense so does that mean that the uh, kid has also the parasite sensing ability that's kind of a weird theory that's kind of maybe you know Kana's parents were actually parasites you know one of them was a parasite one of them was also a human who knows maybe the two guys Shinji met it was basically her parents he didn't really know I have no idea maybe some sort of ability that maybe she got or maybe some humans have the capabilities of sensing these parasites I have no idea. It's kind of a wild theory, wild guess out there. So, be sure to know what you guys thought of this whole theory because it's kind of interesting. And I don't think there's any other way that I could prove that why did she have the ability to sense only Shinji? Because she, she could also sense other parasites. Obviously, since Shinji is also a parasite, you know, she's able to sense other parasites as well. And also, Shinji told her that, you know, I'm a parasite and everything else, she knew a parasite and how her mom died. His mom died from a parasite attack, whatever. And just everything else. And she didn't believe him, obviously. They went to a really high little area around the city where no one was there whatever and he said you know i'm a parasite you know and yeah, she didn't really believe him because of course who would believe a guy who said i was a fucking alien that kills humans and eats devours humans basically i don't think we'd believe if a normal guy said all of a sudden you could see that i think she somewhat did believe him i don't think she fully believed him because i don't know idea yeah, she was in love so in love with him also by the way at the beginning of the episode was really disturbing that's freaking a fanfic up the ass it's like you know asking for fan fiction so Overall, I think on that little theory, I proved that freaking Kana's parents, one of them was a parasite, and she gained the ability from that parasite, and she was also human herself. That's kind of interesting as well. And I actually thought of that just now. I was thinking, what if Kana's also part parasite anyway? Because I she has the ability of a parasite. I don't think any other human does as well. So I think that's why easily we trust her to say because she wins anything. And in case she would, she uh, they obviously says you know high school you know little girl to say nonsense, whatever, just babbling, whatever nonsense, so whatever. So be sure you guys saw of this week's episode of Paris. I feel like I'm missing some really important details as well. Also, when Kana died, whatever, that Mitsuo guy came in and was like, you know, why aren't you sharing a single tear? And that just shows how, even though freaking Izumi is sad, but he just can't really physically show it. Emotionally, he's very hit, but physically, he can't show it physically. He's going to forever emotionally be sad. It was like, you know, this also episode was like, you know, immoral and humanity. The, basically, the whole theme for this episode is humanity you know is Shinji really not human anymore but he does have the human traits human thinking he said his blood's red for now so does that mean that eventually his blood's gonna change color does that mean Miggy's gonna overtake his brain without him knowing it is Miggy really pretending to you know gain his trust just so he could overtake his brain slow and slowly maybe 
maybe Migi's hiding something. Maybe the fact that you know, maybe Migi wanted this to happen. Everything else, he would go into him, and eventually he'll be able to overtake his brain. I have no idea. Would Migi betray Izumi? Bitch, will let me know because these things are so interesting. I love it. This show makes me think. I love a show. Fate Stay Now, UBW, and this show and this season actually makes me think about the different theories, different like you know of things that could happen, different situations that could happen, different routes it could take. It's absolutely brilliant. Will Migi for like be with our uh, Shin should not betray him? You know, is Connor's plan to really parasite any human had sex and had sexual intercourse? And you know, she there she is. Bam! What's gonna happen? Are the other babies basically who mom or dad is a parasite and a human basically going to you know have the ability to sense other parasites as well? What's gonna happen? Also, I want to know that boss, that guy you know in the opening. We see this big ass guy, whatever. Also, if you see the cover for the show, you can see in the behind is a guy, whatever. And is that Shinchi? Maybe I feel like Shinchi's gonna transform into this weird parasite, the most powerful parasite known to man. I feel like he's gonna be a really huge ass at the end of the series. I have no idea. I'm not reading the manga currently. I just want to know. I know the manga's already over. Once the show's over, I'm for sure gonna read the manga because I don't really need to read the manga. This uh, show's found the manga so well. I feel like I'm already reading the manga anyway. So. That's the episode of you. Be sure to check out this episode below. If you guys want to have your own theory for the whole show, this episode, be sure to comment down below. Like the video, it does help a ton. Be sure to share the videos everywhere and get people to watch this, say, you know, video and make their own theories, you know. And that, that's basically, I have no idea what I'm saying, you I'm gone.